5 Reasons Why Planting in Spring is Ideal 1. Optimal Weather Conditions Spring is a time of milder temperatures and more consistent rainfall, which provides the ideal growing conditions for many types of plants. As the soil begins to warm up, seeds will germinate more easily, and plants will establish themselves more quickly. 1. Optimal Weather Conditions 2. Longer Daylight Hours Spring days are longer than winter days, which means that plants have more time to photosynthesize and grow. Longer days also mean that you have more time to work in your garden and tend to your plants. 3. Reduced risk of frost. In most areas, the risk of frost diminishes as spring progresses, which makes it a safer time to plant more tender crops like flowers and vegetables. 4. The start of the growing season. Spring marks the beginning of the growing season for many plants, which means that they have the entire season to establish themselves, grow, and produce fruits or flowers. 5. Boosts your mood. Planting and being around nature has been shown to have positive effects on mental health and well-being. Spring planting can be a mood booster and a fun way to get outside and enjoy the warmer weather after a long winter. The community benefits of planting. By planting and gardening, you can make a positive impact not only on your own health and well-being but also on the wider community. 1. Enhanced community spaces. Gardens and green spaces can provide a welcoming and inviting environment for people to gather, socialize, and relax. Community gardens and public parks can serve as shared spaces that bring people together and promote a sense of community pride. 2. Increased access to fresh produce. Community gardens can provide a source of fresh, nutritious produce for local residents who may not have access to healthy foods. This can be especially important in food deserts or areas where fresh produce is expensive or difficult to come by. 3. Promoting environmental awareness. Planting and gardening can help to promote environmental awareness and encourage sustainable practices. By demonstrating the benefits of green living and the importance of protecting the environment, planting initiatives can inspire others to take action to reduce their own environmental impact. 4. Providing educational opportunities. Community gardening can provide a platform for education and skill building, especially for children and young people. Gardening programs can teach valuable skills like plant identification, soil health, and sustainable farming practices. 5. Fostering community connections. Planting initiatives can bring people together and foster a sense of community connectedness. Community gardens and planting projects can be collaborative efforts that promote teamwork and social bonding and can help to break down social barriers and build stronger, more resilient communities. Getting started with spring planting can be an exciting and rewarding experience. Here are some tips to help you begin. 1. Choose the right plants. Before you start planting, research which plants thrive in your local climate and soil conditions. Consider factors such as sunlight, water availability, and temperature to select the best plants for your garden. 2. Prepare your soil. Good soil is essential for healthy plants, so take the time to prepare your soil before planting. Remove any weeds, rocks, or debris, and add organic matter such as compost or mulch to help improve soil health and fertility. 3. Plan your layout. Consider the size and shape of your garden, as well as the needs of the plants you've chosen. When planning your layout, consider grouping plants with similar water and nutrient needs together to make maintenance easier. 4. Start small. If you're new to gardening, start small with a few plants and gradually expand as you gain confidence and experience. This will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and allow you to focus on giving each plant the attention it needs. 5. Stay on top of maintenance. Regular maintenance is key to keeping your plants healthy and thriving. This can include watering, fertilizing, pruning, and pest control. Make sure you understand the specific needs of each plant and stay on top of maintenance tasks to help your garden flourish. With these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to a successful spring planting season. Remember, gardening is a learning process, so don't be afraid to experiment and try new things as you go. With patience, persistence, and a little bit of know-how, you can create a beautiful and bountiful garden that brings you joy and satisfaction for years to come. Tulips are bulbous perennial plants that are known for their showy, cup-shaped flowers. The flower of a tulip typically has six petals and can come in a wide range of colors including red, yellow, pink, purple, and white, among others. One interesting fact about tulips is that their petals are often streaked or feathered with contrasting colors, which adds to their unique beauty. Tulips are also known for their variety of shapes, ranging from simple and elegant to fringed or ruffled. Here's how to plant tulips. 1. Choose a planting location. Tulips prefer a sunny location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. 2. Prepare the soil. Tulips prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6 and 7. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. 3. Plant the bulbs. Tulip bulbs should be planted in the fall. 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb. 
with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 4 to 6 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. 4. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting, and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. 5. Care for your tulips. Tulips require regular watering during their growing season and should be fertilized with a balanced fertilizer in the spring. Deadhead spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. After the blooms have faded, allow the leaves to die back naturally before cutting them back. 6. Overwintering. Tulips may need to be protected from freezing temperatures in colder climates. You can add a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall to help protect them. Crocus is a genus of perennial flowering plants in the iris family. The flowers of crocus plants are distinctive and usually have six petals that are arranged in a goblet-shaped cup. They are known for their vibrant colors, including purple, white, yellow, and orange. Crocus flowers are usually small, measuring about 7 to 15 centimeters in height and bloom in the early spring or fall, depending on the species. The flowers emerge from a corm, which is a bulb-like structure that stores nutrients for the plant. Some species of crocus, such as Crocus sativus, also known as the saffron crocus, are cultivated for their valuable stigmas, which are used to produce the spice saffron. Here's how to plant crocus. 1. Choose a planting location. Crocuses prefer a sunny or partially shady location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. 2. Prepare the soil. Crocuses prefer slightly alkaline soil with a pH between 6.0 and 7.5. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. 3. Plant the bulbs. Crocus bulbs should be planted in the fall, 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 3 to 4 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. 4. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting, and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. 5. Care for your crocuses. Crocuses require regular watering during their growing season and should be fertilized with a low nitrogen fertilizer in the fall. Dead had spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. After the blooms have faded, allow the leaves to die back naturally before cutting them back. 6. Overwintering. Crocuses are generally hardy, but may need to be protected from heavy snow or freezing temperatures in colder climates. You can add a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall to help protect them. Hyacinths are a type of bulbous plant that are known for their fragrant, bell-shaped flowers that bloom in spring. They are native to the eastern Mediterranean and were first cultivated by the ancient Greeks. Hyacinths come in a range of colors, including white, pink, blue, purple, and yellow, and are popular for use in gardens and as cut flowers. They are often used in floral arrangements and have a strong, sweet scent that can fill a room. Here's how to plant hyacinths. 1. Choose a planting location. Hyacinths prefer a sunny location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. 2. Prepare the soil. Hyacinths prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6 and 7. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. 3. Plant the bulbs. Hyacinth bulbs should be planted in the fall, 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb, with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 6 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. 4. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting, and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. Five, care for your hyacinths. Hyacinths require regular watering during their growing season and should be fertilized with a balanced fertilizer in the spring. Deadhead spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. After the blooms have faded, allow the leaves to die back naturally before cutting them back. Six, overwintering. Hyacinths may need to be protected from freezing temperatures in colder climates. You can add a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall to help protect them. 7. Tips. Hyacinths are a fragrant and colorful addition to any garden or container. By choosing the right soil, planting location, 
and care routine. You can enjoy these beautiful flowers year after year. Lilies are popular as ornamental plants, grown for their beauty and fragrance. They come in a wide variety of colors, including white, yellow, pink, red, orange, and purple. Some of the most popular types of lilies include Easter lilies, Asiatic lilies, and Oriental lilies. In many cultures, lilies are also associated with symbolism and have different meanings depending on the context. For example, in some cultures, they are associated with purity and innocence, while in others, they are a symbol of death and mourning. Here's how to plant lilies. 1. Choose a planting location. Lilies prefer a sunny or partially shady location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. 2. Prepare the soil. Lilies prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6 and 7. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. 3. Plant the bulbs. Lily bulbs should be planted in the fall or early spring, depending on the species. Plant bulbs 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb, with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 6 to 8 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. 4. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. 5. Care for your lilies. Lilies require regular watering during their growing season and should be fertilized with a balanced fertilizer in the spring. Deadhead spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. After the blooms have faded, allow the leaves to die back naturally before cutting them back. 6. Overwintering. Lilies may need to be protected from freezing temperatures in colder climates. You can add a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall to help protect them. Lilies are popular as ornamental plants, grown for their beauty and fragrance. They come in a wide variety of colors, including white, yellow, pink, red, orange, and purple. Some of the most popular types of lilies include Easter lilies, Asiatic lilies, and Oriental lilies. In many cultures, lilies are also associated with symbolism and have different meanings depending on the context. For example, in some cultures, they are associated with purity and innocence, while in others, they are a symbol of death and mourning. Here's how to plant lilies. 1. Choose a planting location. Lilies prefer a sunny or partially shady location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. 2. Prepare the soil. Lilies prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6 and 7. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. 3. Plant the bulbs. Lily bulbs should be planted in the fall or early spring, depending on the species. Plant bulbs 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb, with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 6 to 8 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. 4. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. 5. Care for your lilies. Lilies require regular watering during their growing season and should be fertilized with a balanced fertilizer in the spring. Dead had spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. After the blooms have faded, allow the leaves to die back naturally before cutting them back. 6. Overwintering. Lilies may need to be protected from freezing temperatures in colder climates. You can add a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall to help protect them. Daffodil bulbs. Choose a planting location. Daffodils prefer a sunny or partially shaded location with well-draining soil. They can also be planted in containers if you don't have a suitable garden bed. Prepare the soil. Daffodils prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH between 6 and 7. Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and soil fertility. Plant the bulbs. Daffodil bulbs should be planted in the fall, 2 minus 3 times the depth of the bulb, with the pointed end facing upwards. Space bulbs about 6 inches apart and cover with soil, tamping it down lightly. Water and mulch. Water the soil well after planting, and add a layer of mulch to help conserve moisture and protect the bulbs from frost. Care for your daffodils. Daffodils are relatively low maintenance and don't require much care once established. Water them regularly during dry spells and fertilize with a balanced fertilizer in the spring after they have finished blooming. Deadhead spent blooms to promote healthy growth and discourage seed formation. Overwintering. If you live in a colder climate, you can protect your daffodils from freezing temperatures by adding a layer of mulch or straw over the bulbs in the fall. Tips. Overall, daffodils are easy to grow and can add a splash of color to your garden or patio. With the right soil, planting location, and care, you can enjoy these beautiful flowers year after year. After planting your spring plants, it's important to give them the care they need to thrive. Here are some tips for caring for your spring plants. 1. Water regularly. Spring is a time of growth and renewal, and your plants will need plenty of water to support their growth. 
Be sure to water your plants regularly, taking care not to overwater or underwater them. Check the soil frequently in water when the top inch of soil feels dry. 2. Fertilize as needed. Depending on the plants you've chosen, you may need to fertilize them periodically to provide them with the nutrients they need to grow. Choose a fertilizer that is appropriate for your plants and follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. 3. Prune as necessary. Regular pruning can help to promote healthy growth and shape your plants as they mature. Remove any dead or damaged leaves, stems, or flowers, and shape the plant as desired. Pruning can also help to control the size and shape of your plants. 4. Control pests and diseases. Keep an eye out for signs of pests or disease and take action as soon as you notice any issues. Use natural or organic pest control methods whenever possible and avoid using harsh chemicals that can harm your plants or the environment. 5. Watch for weather changes. Spring weather can be unpredictable with sudden changes in temperature and precipitation. Keep an eye on the weather forecast and adjust your watering and care routine as needed to help your plants adapt. By giving your spring plants the care and attention they need, you can help them thrive and enjoy a beautiful, healthy garden all season long. Thank you for joining us in this series on the benefits of spring planting and how to get started with your own garden. We've covered a lot of ground and hopefully you've learned something new along the way. As we've seen, planting in spring is not only a great way to beautify your outdoor space, but it also has numerous health and community benefits. From reducing stress and anxiety to improving air quality and providing habitat for pollinators, there are many reasons to start planting today. And with the right tools and knowledge, anyone can become a successful gardener. We've discussed how to choose the right plants for your climate and soil, how to prepare your garden for planting, and how to care for your plants throughout the season. But there's still more to learn and explore. In Chapter 4, we highlighted some of the most beautiful and popular spring flowers, but there are many more varieties to discover. And once you've mastered spring planting, you can move on to summer, fall, and even winter gardening. If you want to dive deeper into the world of gardening and become a true expert, I highly recommend checking out my book Spring Into Blooms. It's available now on Amazon and covers everything we've discussed in this series in even more detail. The link to my book is like a hidden treasure waiting for you in the description box below. So why not take the next step and start your own garden today? Whether you have a small balcony or a large backyard, there's always room for a little bit of green. And who knows, you might just discover a new passion and a greener, more sustainable way of living. Thank you again for watching and happy planting!